Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss techniques used in the field of maintenance and reliability for condition monitoring and testing of electric motors. The importance of studying electric motors is that they are one of the most common machines in any industry. Motors move the world. Therefore, maintenance and reliability professionals are supposed to know about electric motors as well as some common techniques used for monitoring their condition and testing them. The simplest way of telling if something is wrong with a motor is to simply test the current it is drawing from the supply. The ampere reading can easily be taken on daily, weekly, monthly, or any other time interval to reveal any hidden developing defects inside the motor. Next, one of the common failures of an electric motor is failure of its windings. There are multiple tests for detecting winding issues. A famous test is the high potential surge test simply referred to as high pot test. It involves applying a steady high voltage for a specific duration and checking for insulation breakdown and leakage current in the motor. Its purpose is to check the ability of the motor not to break down under high voltage spikes. Another similar test is known as the surge comparison test. It is like the high pot test except that it uses voltage pulses instead of a steady state voltage. It then analyzes the response waveform of the pulses to detect any anomalies in the winding insulation. It may be used for testing, turn to turn faults, face to face faults, or insulation degradation. Another similar test is the Magohm test or the Magher test. It is performed by a Magohm meter, simply referred to as a Magher, that tests the health of the winding insulation. It does so by subjecting the motor to a very high DC voltage and measuring the resistance of the winding in ohms. In case the winding insulation health is compromised, a low ohm reading will be observed. Yet another test is the conductor complex impedance test. It measures impedance of all the conductors in the motor by using a special tool called impedance analyzer. Impedance is the sum of resistance, capacitive impedance, and inductive impedance. In this test, a low frequency alternating current signal is applied to the motor windings and the resulting current and voltage waveforms are analyzed. The results reveal any fault in the motor conductors, mainly windings. A motor current signature analysis, that is MCSA, is another sophisticated test for electric motors. It finds unbalance, misalignment, defective bearings, rotor bar damage, defective end ring connections, load issues, and static or dynamic eccentricity in electric motors. The test is performed with a special tool known as the FFT analyzer. The main advantage of the test is that it can be performed on a live motor. That is, it does not disturb the operation of your electric motor. Your motor can keep doing its job while the FFT analyzer does its own job. Finally, a motor circuit analysis or MCA refers to using a range of voltage, current, and impedance tests 
including the ones we have already discussed, to analyze different aspects of motor condition. With this, we conclude our discussion on electric motor testing methods. See you in the next lecture.